Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get strong, then this is the right video for you. I'm going to guide you through a 30 minute full body strength workout. All you need is your mat. Let's do it. today. Come onto your palms, walk the hands forward, untuck your toes, keep the hips, the hips lifted and then work your chest towards the ground. Externally rotate the arms, find more length in your back, in your shoulders, maybe in the arms here. You can rest the forehead all the way down to the ground if that's accessible for you. I'm just gonna stay here because of the microphone. And then slowly feel in your body, just notice how you're feeling today and then also feel your breath, add your breath to it. Just notice what's touching the ground, the palms, the knees, the feet. And feel the breath coming in and out through the nose. Fill your lungs up with fresh air. Nice and slow exhale through the nose again. Walk your hands back towards your knees, come into a tabletop position, untuck your toes, hips are right above the knees, shoulders above the wrists, inhale, arch your back, look forward, exhale, round your back, look towards your belly button, inhale, arch your back, repeat, exhale, round, one more time, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, come back to neutral, come onto your toes, sit back onto the heels. Stretch out the feet, keep the arms straight. Whenever we're having contact with the ground, make sure you spread the fingers wide. Press into the inside of your hands. That really helps to protect the wrists and gives you more control over your wrists. Keep the arms straight, look between your thumbs, move forward with the shoulders as far forward as you can. And then back, hips towards the heels, move forward. Lift the shoulders, keep the arms straight, and back. One more time, forward, and back. All right, last one, forward. Now keep the fingers on the ground. Only lift the palms up. Keep the thumbs on the ground as well. Lower back down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one fingertips pointing towards the knees keep the arms straight stay on your toes hips towards the heels let the palms lift up either keep the arms straight feel that feel that stretch in your forearms in your fingers maybe in your palms if you want more you can also bend your arms just a little bit and slowly release sit onto the heels shake out the wrists with or without the hands, we're going to lift the knees up and come into a squat. And instead of a malasana, a yogi squat, we're looking for a, a different kind of squat. Just bring the feet closer together. And for the body, it's a very natural position to be in. I think it's one of the, one of the fundamental poses, you know, what the body is designed for, just to squat. But since we use chairs so much and sit in a car a lot, our body is sometimes having a hard time squatting. So I really encourage you to squat every day. You know, for example, if you're on your phone, squat, use your phone, maybe eat in a squat, read a book, watch TV, if you have a TV, whatever it is, just squat more. Without using the hands, if you can, bring the knees back down to the ground. Bring it back up, come back to a squat, stretching out the feet here and working on some mobility in the hips, the knees, two more. 
last one. Shake out the wrist one more time and then straighten your legs, forward fold. Let the upper body be really heavy, the head hang really heavy. Bend your knees side to side, just give your body some time to open up in the hamstrings, the back side of your legs, the lower back. From here interlace your hands behind your back, work your arms and hands up and over your head towards the front of the mat. Straighten your legs a little bit more. So we're looking for a sensation here in the back side of our legs, the hamstrings, and also in our shoulders. Either stay here, keep breathing, or start to bounce a little bit up and down. Slowly release the hands back down to the ground, bend your knees, roll up to standing through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Head comes up last, arms lift, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, roll up through the spine, come all the way up to standing, arms lift, palms touch. Nice breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, walk the hands forward, downward facing dog. First downward dog, so find your downward dog here, find your pose. Work your chest towards the thighs. Maybe keep your knees bent, it's okay if the heels lift up, it doesn't matter. What we're looking for is that nice and long line from the wrists all the way up to the hips. Push the ground away, externally rotate the arms, press into the inside of your hands and chest towards the thighs and then slowly start to straighten the legs a little bit more. But keep that length in the back. If you notice that your back starts to round, you just went too much. So come back, bend your knees a little bit more again. Look between the thumbs, shift forward through the spine, move forward like a wave to plank pose. Push the ground away, tuck your tailbone, engage the core. So what we want to avoid in our plank is dipping the chest down, having the hips like this. You want to push the ground away, lift the hips up, tuck your tailbone, use your core for stability. Press into your palms, move the hips up and back, downward dog. Shift forward, plank pose. You're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Keep pushing the ground away. See how much space you can create between the chest and the mat. Nice and slow with the breath, tailbone is tucked, legs are active and we are on the ball of our feet, not on the toes. Because now we're going to shift forward, come high onto the toes, bend your arms, chaturanga, hold it there 10 seconds, elbow brushing the rib cage, touching the rib cage. Do not lower your shoulders down lower than the, the elbows. Tuck your tailbone, core strong, one more deep breath in. Exhale, release all the way down to the ground. Bring your forearms on the mat, the elbows right underneath the shoulders. Press into the elbows, flex your butt, untuck your toes, things pose, move the chest back, move the shoulders, uh, move the shoulders back, move the chest forward. Look straight ahead. Either stay here if you want more, press into your palms, straighten the arms, flex your butt even more. Externally rotate the arms, lower the elbows back down towards the ground, let them hover, straighten the arms again. Seal pose, lower and lift, three more, lower down, lift up, nice and slow. Straighten the arms, engage your glutes. Wherever you are, exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, come onto your toes, press up, plank pose. Hips up and back, downward dog. From here we're going to lower the elbows all the way down to the ground, nice and slow for dolphin pose. Keep your legs straight if you can, otherwise bend them. And lower the elbows down, dolphin. Straighten the arms again for downward dog. Let's come back up. Lower down, dolphin. Downward dog. Let the elbows hover when you come down. Three more. Lower down. Let them hover. 
Straighten the arms. Downward dog. Lower down. Dolphin. Down dog. Last one. Back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Come high onto the left toes. Exhale, right knee to the right triceps. Hold it there. Push the ground away. Slide the right knee down to the right wrist. Over to the left wrist. Pull it up to the left triceps. Starfish pose. Extend the right leg to your left. Bring the left heel down to the ground. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Press into your right palm. Push the ground away. Engage your glutes to lift your hips up higher. Keep your left fingertips nice and active. One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hips down to the ground all the way. Stay on your heels. Lift the hips back up. Starfish. Lower down. Four more. Lift up. Starfish. Three more. Lift up. Lower down. And lift. Back to starfish. Lean into your right palm. Reach the left arm forward. And then draw the left knee to your left armpit. Stay on the other edge of the right foot. Place your left foot inside the right hand. Come up to standing. Reach your arms up and over your head. Left foot is planted and the right foot is touching down with the outer edge. Now we're going to bend the left knee and bring the right knee close to the outside of the left calf. Lift the right foot up. Come up to standing on the left leg. Really when you come up, move the hips forward, point the right foot down. Hands wherever for your balance. Bring the right knee to the outside of the left calf. Bend your left knee. Come back up. Bring it down. And up. Two more. Find your balance here. Last one. Come back up. Warrior three. Hands to the heart. Kick the right leg back. Bring the shoulder blades together, right knee inside the left knee, flamingo pose. Left leg is straight, right leg is bent, point your right foot. Extend the right leg forward and down as you bend your left knee. Squat down. Come onto your hips, onto your butt, sit down. Come onto your back. Right leg is lifted, left leg is forward, both legs are lifted, flex both feet. Reach your arms up, your fingertips up towards the right foot. Lift your shoulder blades up off the ground. Almost the entire back is lifted. Lower down. Lift up and lower. Lift, lower, seven more. Nice and slow, lift up and lower with your breath. It's more important to do good quality reps than doing sloppy ones without the breath. So focus on the breath, give it your best, make it clean. Rebend the left knee, rock forward, plant your left foot. Now with or without the hands, we're going to step the right foot back. So you can also pistol squat up, shift forward, step the right foot back. Bend your left knee, hands down to the ground, runner's lunge. Press into your palms, step the left foot back to meet the right, plank pose, 30 second hold, that's 245, I think that's better than 30, tuck your tailbone, engage the core, push the ground away, press into the inside of the hands, I cannot say it often enough, protect your wrists, take control over your wrists. Slow the breath down, maybe close your eyes. 20 more seconds. You can always set the knees down here if this is too much, but if you do, nothing changes in the upper back. You keep pushing the ground away, tailbone is tucked, knees up or down, doesn't matter, core is active. Now shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms, chaturanga, 10 second hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one and a half, one, 
Upward dog, inhale, straighten your arms, flip your feet, push the ground away. Move the shoulders back, push the chest forward, look straight ahead, flex your butt. One more deep breath in, exhale, downward dog. From this downward dog, we're gonna again lower the elbows down for dolphin. Maybe stay here, come up and down with the elbows, or if you want more, move forward to chaturanga. Elbows lift up, chaturanga, back to dolphin. Back to downward dog. Let's do three more. Lower down, chaturanga, dolphin, downward dog. Dolphin, chaturanga, downward dog, a dolphin, downward dog. Beautiful job. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Come high into the right toes. Exhale, left knee to the left triceps. Hold it there, push the ground away. Slide the left knee down the left wrist to the left wrist, over to the right. Keep pushing into your hands, pull it up to the right triceps. Starfish pose, extend the left leg to your right, right heel down to the ground, right, right arm up to the sky. Flex your butt, lift your hips up high, press into your left hand, you know it, in the inside of your left hand. Push the ground away. Slowly lower the hips down all the way to the ground, nice and slow, no rush. Stay on your heels, sit down, come back up, starfish. Lower down. Back up. Three more. Lots of side body here, lots of shoulder strength on the left side. Last one, lots of breath. Reach the right arm forward, lean into your left palm, lift the right heel up, draw the right knee into the right armpit. Step it back. Four more. And step it back. Right knee, right armpit, and back. Let's do last one. I think we did last on the other side as well. Now step the right foot to the inside of the left hand. Come up to standing. Plant the right foot, stay on the outer edge of the left foot. Reach arms up high, externally rotate the arms, palms, palms facing upwards. Now re-bend the right knee, the left knee touches the right outside of the calf. Use your hands for balance and come up to standing. On the right leg, I'm going to move back a little bit, left toes pointing down. Move your hips forward when you come up. Let's go for five here. Touch the left knee outside the right calf. Bring it back up. Bring it down, over, touch, and up. Three more. Nice and slow with the breath. Last one. Hands to the heart, kick the left leg back, warrior three. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lower the left hip down. Now flamingo pose, left knee inside the right. Right leg is straight, left foot is pointed. Extend the left leg forward and down, pistol squat down, bend the right knee. Come down onto your butt, onto your back. Left leg lifted, right leg forward, Flex both feet, reach your arms up high towards your left toes for 10. Nine, eight, seven more with your breath. Last two, give your best. Beautiful job, rebend the right knee, rock forward. Plant the right foot. Now with or without your hands, you decide pistol squat up for a runner's lunge. Left leg back, plant your hands, step the right foot back. Plank pose, hold it there 
45 seconds. Again, you decide, knees down or up, it does not matter. Give your best now, with, if that means knees down, it's perfectly fine. If that means pause the video, take a break, continue whenever you're ready, that's perfectly fine too. We all start somewhere, but just commit to it and give your best. Push the ground away, tuck the tailbone, engage the core. Close your eyes, nice and soft breath. 10 more seconds. Come onto your forearms, forearm plank, 45 second hold. Shoulders are right above the elbows. Try to bring the forearms parallel to each other, just like train tracks. Palms facing down to the ground. 30 more seconds. Tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Press into your elbows, push the ground away. Same thing applies in forearm plank as in plank, pushing the ground away. 15 more seconds. You can do it. You can set the knees down, you decide. Give your best. Nice and slow breath. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release the hips down to the ground. Untuck the toes, sphinx pose. Move the chest back. Move the shoulders back. Move the chest forward. <sighs> Maybe straighten the arms. Seal pose. Release the elbows down to the ground. And chest down to the ground. Plant your palms, press up to plank. Downward dog. Last little push here of this practice today. We're gonna to do the same sequence as before with elbows down dolphin. Then chaturanga, come forward and then plank. Straighten the arms. Back down, chaturanga, dolphin, downward dog, four more. Dolphin, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, dolphin, downward dog, three more. Maybe it's just one for you, but you're giving your best, then that's perfectly fine. Last two. Chaturanga, dolphin, downward dog, last one, you can do it. Chaturanga, dolphin, downward dog. Whew. Beautiful job. Now we're gonna all meet in Malasana Yogi Squat. Step, float or handstand, the feet forward, outside to the hands for our Yogi Squat. Gonna rotate this way. Bring the backs of your hands together. Press into your palm, press into your hands, press them towards each other. A little wrist release here. And again, we're squatting. Yay, finally, after sitting at your desk all day and in your car, it's finally time to squat again. For me too. I try to squat every day. Just the things that I do, I try to do in a squat being on the phone, maybe eating, drinking, reading a book or your ebook, whatever it is. There's always the option to take this from the chair into a squat. It's one of the most natural positions for the body, one of the fundamental positions of the body. If you watch little kids playing in a sandbox, they squat and they sit there for one hour, two hours just playing in the sand perfectly fine for them. But you know, for us as adults, being trained to sit on those chairs all day when we do whatever, um, you know, we just lose that mobility in the body. So we can't sometimes even squat all the way down. So that's fine, you know, we start all, we all start somewhere, but you gotta work on it, put in the work every day. Just five minutes squat, 10 minutes every day, be consistent. 
All right, sit down onto your butt. Butterfly pose, bring the feet together. Open the knees up to the sides. Look at your feet, Some, oftentimes you already see if one foot opens up more than the other. That's usually also the hip that's more open or more closed. So for me, the right foot is more open and my right hip is also more open. The left for me is pretty tight and I can totally see this in my feet. Keep the spine nice and long, inhale. On your exhale, walk the hands forward. Or keep bring the hands behind you and push your hips forward. What we're looking for is a stretch in the inner thighs here, groin area. Close your eyes. The direction of movement here is with the chest forward, not rounding the back, but moving the chest forward. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want to do. It's always good to end a body weight workout with stretches, slowing down the breath, you know, cooling the body down. Then sit back up, plant your feet on the ground. I'm going to put the hands behind us, fingertips pointing towards the knees. Press into your palms, press into your heels, lift your hips up, reverse tabletop. One of my favorite poses or transition to get one of the one of my favorite poses. You're going to keep the hands where they're at, flex your butt, lift the hips up high. Really lift them up, press into your heels. Don't move the hands, but move the hips forward and then lower them down all the way to the ground as close to the heels as possible. With your inhale, move your chest forward. Exhale, bend your arms. Work the elbows towards each other, the shoulder blades together. And do whatever feels good here for the head. I like to keep it like this or even tucked forward. Some people keep like to have it hang backwards, whatever it is. What we're looking for in this one is stretching the front side of the shoulders. We did quite a lot of upper body work today, lots of side body and uh, shoulder strength. So we want to stretch that as well. It doesn't work if you only go hard in one direction and never stretch, never relax. It's just not going to work. So you need to do both to bring things back into balance. And, you know, you feel less sore tomorrow. You can maybe do this again tomorrow. It's just about taking care of the body and bringing the body back into a state of balance. You know, being strong, being mobile, being open, flexible, you know, all at the same time. Stay here and move the shoulders forward, one shoulder at a time. Or straighten the arms and bend them. I like this one because it stretches out the forearms and the wrists a little bit. Maybe you're really tight here in the shoulders too, and this is very intense stretch. You know, as I said, we all start somewhere. That's where I started too, and I've been doing this particular stretch because it really helps me helps me with my jiu-jitsu practice. I've been doing it for like two years or so, almost every day. You know, so consistency, and time, patience. Slowly release. Sit down or come onto your back for happy baby. Keep your lower back and your shoulders on the ground and work your knees into your armpits. There's a lot of variations you can take from here. Feel free to stay here. Just enjoy this or straighten one leg or the other, maybe both. You can also bring the legs up and over your head for plow pose. Last few moments of our practice. So do what feels right. Just staying there and breathing is perfectly fine. Release the feet back down to the ground. Bring the heels close to your hips, press into your heels and then lift your hips up, engage your glutes. For bridge pose, 
Maybe come onto your shoulder blades, maybe interlace your hands behind your back. Flex your butt, lift your hips up high. Really engage the glutes to lift the hips. Stay there, last little bit. It's really important to work on the, on the glutes, to work on the butt, develop strength there, especially because we are sitting in our cars so much, at our desks. Maybe you take the elevator, we sleep at night, you know, there's not much of using our, our butt. And half of our body is legs. So the legs are really there to use them. And the legs, the body is moved by using our glutes. So it's important to work on that. It prevents a lot of, or can prevent a lot of things like lower back pain and all sorts of things. You know, if you don't use the butt, then those things can happen and come up. Lower back pain and whatever it is. To your next inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Lift your heels up high. Slowly roll down through the spine. Hips come down last. And just stay there. Keep that natural curve in your back. Just relax. And hug your knees into the chest. Give yourself a huge hug. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill the lungs all the way up. Hold your breath at the top. One more little sip of air in. Open mouth, exhale. Release your heels to the corners of the mat. Palms facing upwards. Bring the legs wide apart. Fully relax your body, especially in the fingers and the toes. There's nothing for you to do right now, nowhere to go. Just be here now. Relax. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Feel free to stay here for as long as you want. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Thank yourself for showing up, giving your best, putting in the work. I hope you, I hope I see you in one of the next videos. I hope I see you on the mat soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.